spot, Chicago. The Bears are the two and a half point favorites. No total posted as of yet. Chicago comes in two and one on the year. Just one score victories in their pair of wins. A win still a win in this league, though. The Bears did fail to get the job done over the Packers in week one on an Aaron Rodgers playing with one leg comeback. Khalil Mack had one of the best games out of a DN in the history of the league, and they still couldn't get the job done. Uh, Big blown second half lead against the Packers in that one complete choke job by Chicago. And I'll tell you what, Mitchell Trubisky, he looks awful. The play calling after the first 15 or so scripted plays, uh, they're very vanilla afterwards. And I have concerns about Chicago moving the football in the later uh, minutes of the game. Now Tampa on the other side, these guys have been unreal. 2-0 and in the year, 2-0 and ATS, big covers and outright wins over the Saints and the Eagles. And if you're superstitious, the Bucs were the underdogs in those games catching the points. They're catching points once again in this one. That's why I think it's important to get those bets in early if you like Tampa this week. Now, Tampa scored a ton of points in week one and two. They were averaging 38 a game and 405 a game through the air. And contingent on if Fitzpatrick stays healthy through tonight's Monday night game, I think we'll see some more of the same next Sunday. Now, total-wise, Tampa's 2-0 to the over, 2-0 to the over as the dog as well. Meanwhile, Chicago's been getting help by their defense and special teams winning the field position battle. That's going to help their offense score points. That is what's helping them average 21 points per game through three weeks. So with all that said and done, this one, if this one stays under, it will be because of that aggressive Bears D-line getting to Fitzpatrick. Ryan did towards the Eagles, who have one of the best D-lines in the league. I think this one can still get over the total, so I'm going to purchase the hook buy it up and take Tampa Bay plus three, hoping that Fitzpatrick stays healthy through tonight's Monday night contest with Pittsburgh. And if the total opens at 56 points or lower, yes, I said 56 points or lower, I'm going to lean toward the over in this matchup as well. All right, next game, Eagles-Titans, one o'clock 